Welcome my dear learners for this course on operations research. In this module 1 we were discussing on formulation of linear programming problem and solving the linear programming problem using graphical method. We were discussing on additional problems on linear programming problem. The problem number 12 of our discussion states that solve the following linear programming problem graphically z max is equal to 10x1 plus 6x2 subjected to 5x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 30 and x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 18 and x1 and x2 are positive values. Come let us solve this problem. If I move for solution, we have the solution for problem number 12 as first convert these two constraints as equations. So if I take the first constraint, we have 5x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 30 as the first equation from the first constraint. So if I set x2 to 0, setting x2 to 0 I will get the value of x1 as <coughs> 6 5 6 are 30 now if I set x1 to 0 I will get the value of x2 as 10 so therefore the coordinates of first constraint are 6 comma 10 similarly move for second constraint the equation for second constraint will be x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 18 now set x2 to 0 you will get x1 as 18 set x1 to 0 you will get x2 as 9 so therefore the constraints are sorry the coordinates of this constraints are 18 comma 9 so we have a line at 6 comma 10 and we have a line at 18 comma 9 so these are the two constraints what we have now if I plot the graph and also find the isoprofit line that is line from the objective function is called as isoprofit line so we have the z max as z max is 10x1 plus 6x2 so therefore we will get 10x1 is equal to minus 6x2 hence x1 by x2 is minus 6 by 10 or which is nothing but minus 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 now let us construct the graph for problem number 12 we have the highest in y axis that is x2 as 10 and x1 as 18 so for which I will take 1 units itself so if I take one unit we will get the solution as we want 10 units in x1 so we want 10 units in x1 that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 here we want 18 we want 18 units that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then we have 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. That is we have the coordinates as So draw x and y axis always we know that in linear programming problem x axis always represents variable x1 and y axis always represents variable x2 here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
and 10 here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 now for the iso profit line that is for the objective function line we want minus 3 comma 5 so x axis is minus 3 x axis is minus 3 that is 1 2 and 3 so we have minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and y axis is 5 minus 3 comma 5 is here so we have the minus 3 comma 5 coordinate here so this is the coordinate for minus 3 comma 5 iso profit line that is lying from objective function so connect it and make use to find the farthest point because we are solving for maximization linear programming problem So we have the ISO profit line. That is line from the objective function. Minus 3 comma 5 for which I connected to the origin and generated a line. Use this slope of this line to find the farthest point. Now let us insert the constraints. First constraint has the coordinate as 6 comma 10. 6 comma 10. Now join these two. 6 comma 10 is one we have six comma ten is less than or equal to so therefore line should move inward symbol is less than or equal to so this is our first constraint second constraint is 18 comma 9 so we have 18 comma 9 so this is 9 and there we have 18 that is we have 18 comma 9 So this is a line for 18 comma 9 since for this also we have less than or equal to sign so this should also move downward and this is our constraint number 2 so this is moving this is also moving downward now we have only two constraints we have iso profit line now identify the feasible region so this region is ruled out because for constraint 1 this region is not included this region is also ruled out hence the solution space is this one so this is the feasible region for us so this is the feasible region what we have this is the feasible region correct now in this feasible region we have three salient points correct 1 2 and 3 so this is the feasible region feasible region and we have the points as a b and c now we use the iso profit line and so if i use the iso profit line first i will get a then i will get both b and c then I will get both B and C because these two are coming parallel. These two are coming parallel. I will get both B and C from the ISO profit line. Hence, this problem has alternate optimal solution. Let me inspect that. So, we have a scale for this problem as x axis 1 cm is equal to one unit and also y axis one centimeter is equal to 
वन यूनिट नो वी हैव थ्री पॉइंट्स ए बी एंड सी सिंस वेन आई यूज आईसो प्रॉफिट लाइन आई एम गेटिंग बी एंड सी पैरल टू द आईसो प्रॉफिट लाइन सो लेट मी इंस्पेक्ट इट प्रॉपरली सो एट ए सो वी हैव द पॉइंट्स वी हैव द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू एंड वी हैव जेड राइट सो नाउ एट वी हैव थ्री पॉइंट्स ए बी एंड सी लेट मी इंस्पेक्ट ऑल द थ्री बिकॉज आई एम गेटिंग द आईसो प्रॉफिट लाइन एज पैरल टू बी एंड सी सो एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू टेक रिस्क लेट मी कैलकुलेट द वैल्यूज सिंस वी हैव ओनली थ्री पॉइंट्स इट इज ईजी फॉर अस टू कैलकुलेट सो इफ आई टेक पॉइंट ए इफ आई टेक पॉइंट ए द कोऑर्डिनेट इज जीरो कॉमा नाइन द कोऑर्डिनेट इज जीरो कॉमा नाइन हेंस जेड मैक्स इज नाइन इंटू सिक्स नाइन फाइव ऑफ फोर्टी नेक्स्ट वी हैव B. Next we have B, and then we have C. Now at B, if I measure, so rather than measuring, I have two equations, right? At B, so I have these two equations. So if I solve these two equations, I'll get the solution for x1 and x2. So at B, we have two equations. So solve those two equations. If I solve those two equations, I'll get the solution as. So if I solve those two equations. The equations at point B are these two. So, hence I'll go for mode equation. The first one is mode equation. First one. X one is five. X two is three. And C one is thirty. Then we have one, two, eighteen. So the coordinates are six by seven, point eight five seven. So the coordinates are six six by seven, and x two as sixty by seven. X two as sixty by seven. That is six by seven is nothing but point eight five seven. So if I extend from point B, I should get x one as point eight five seven, and 60 by 7 is 8.57. Correct. It is between 8 and 9. So if you can measure exactly from graph the coordinates at point B, you can measure. Else at point B, we have two equations intersecting. So all those two equations to get the coordinates. So I got the coordinates at point B as 6 by 7 and 60 by 7. Hence z max will be 10 into 6 by 7 plus 6 into 60 by 7, which is equal to 60, which is equal to 60. Now at point C, the coordinates are 6 comma 0. The coordinates are 6 comma 0, hence 6 tends to 60. So it is clear that this problem has alternate optimal solution. That is the solution for this problem is we have two solutions for this problem. hence the solution is one set of solution is x1 is 6 by 7 and x2 is 60 by 7 therefore you will get z max as 60 is one solution and alternate optimal solution is x1 is 6 x2 is 0 and you will get z max as 60 So this problem has alternate optimal solution or multiple solution. One solution is six by seven, sixty by seven, and z max is sixty. And second solution is x one is equal to six, x two is equal to zero, and z max is sixty. So this is how we should determine whenever you encounter alternate optimal solution for a linear programming problem. That's all from this lecture. Thank you all.